Let us help you with our family's queen mother. And I mean that in every sense. She was regal. Her outfits, her demeanor, her stoic and never wearing her heart on your sleeve ways for that of a queen. And like Tito Bobay and Tito Mike said yesterday, her word was the word and everyone followed it, even if sometimes it came with heavy sighs or shaking heads. What she wanted, she got. What she believed, no one negated. And what she said, we obeyed. And that's how I perceived her growing up. She had so many rules. They didn't brush your hair. Don't go out with wet hair. They don't wear that dress, it's unflattering. Don't rap, it's unladylike. Sit properly. Don't laugh out loud. Don't lean on the table. You can't eat the chocolate in my fridge without showing me. <laughs> Even if they've been expired for 10 years and you were away. <laughs> but as I got older and spent more meaningful time with her, she evolved from being her big brother who called out every movie made to a more amusing person. She made an effort to connect with me and my cousins in the funniest of ways, like asking for help to rewind her cell phone, meaning to charge it, or trying to relate with our lingo by saying, I, well, I'm saying that, dead man. But she actually meant dead spot. She also asked me to drive her to see the Dolomite Beach in the middle of a pandemic, of a pandemic. No chaperone, tayo dalawa she said. One of my funniest moments with Lola was when Karen and I were making garlic bread. If you knew Lola from way back, you will know that Lola had never worked a day in her life. Household work was delegated to the house help and all that. So one Saturday afternoon, when Karen and I were preparing dinner, Lola walked in on us making garlic bread. We were just beginning to chop the garlic when we said, Lola, help us. She hesitated, but stayed anyway and started cutting the garlic. After about two cloves, she said, Ay, parang naluha na yung mata ko. Nakakaluha nga pala ng maghiwa ng garlic. Pasok na ako sa kwarto. Tara niya na yung mga each other. Shook our heads and laughed. Hindi naman sa garlic nakakaluha. It was really the mundane things I loved the most. It made her more human in my eyes. As I spent more time with her, I began to see that she wasn't the high and mighty queen I perceived her to be as a child. She was my Lola. My Lola I loved so dearly. From the rule maker queen, she became a much loved, a much loved queen in my eyes. When she was first hospitalized last July 28th, I met her in Makati Med straight from work. She was sitting by the elevators near the admitting area and she asked me, Bakit ka nandito? Saan ka galing? I replied, Galing ako sa school. Maaga kami kasi training training pa lang. Andito ako kasi sasamaan kita. She gave me a funny look and said, Sige, ikaw ang bodyguard mo. Samahan mo ko. I'm not quite sure that I did my bodyguard duties in its literal sense, but I did go on duty. Every day straight from school, I go to Mahati Med and spend the rest of the day with her until she fell asleep. We talked about my students, we ate food from every restaurant in Ayala North Exchange that kept me off. Two tablespoons for her and the rest of the order for me. <laughs> we laughed at how I entered the room hopping and puffing because I took the stairs all the way to the top floors of Mahati Med, or how I was constantly marching in place just to complete my 10,000 steps. We counted how many more tests until she could probably go home. And as the prognosis was not good, we ended each night with prayer time. Lola, nasa tayo? I would ask her. And after every prayer, she whispered, Thank you, tulog na tayo. Eventually, the school year started, and from seven days a week, I could only see her for four. On the first week of school, she called me and said, Bakit three days ka na hindi ko mabuta dito? Apparently, she would also ask Jem, Kono lang na, bakit wala pa si Dave? It became an inside joke. Bawal ang absent. She called me once asking if I was coming. When I told her I couldn't because I was tutoring in Quezon City, she said, Hanggang anong oras ba yung tutor mo? 
tumarito ka pagkatapos. Bawal absent. No excuse letter was accepted. So from work in DGC, I tutored in Kelan Sagi and drove back to Mahali. When we both got COVID at the same time, she was put in isolation and I couldn't come and see her. We video called and prayed together and she wouldn't miss it. Sometimes when I fall asleep and miss prayer time, she would call me in the morning and say, Tinulugan mo ko kagabi. Magdasal tayo ngayon kasi gabi pa sa Amerika. <laughs> Tapos magdasal tayo ulit mga may gabi. <laughs> More than having to drive back and forth, I love that our quality time was praying together. Since then, I always told her, no, Lana, don't worry. I might be late, I might be away for a while, pero hindi ako mawawala. Just late, never absent. The day before she passed, she could no longer talk, but she sat up on her chair for most of the day. Because she was restless, I used my arm to keep her in place. And so many times, she would fall to the side and lean on me. She smiled and chuckled when Carmela said, Lola, I'm not going to go to the house. I was elated to hear her make a sound, something that had become so scarce in her last days. I held her hand and reminded her of my promise. Hindi ako mawawala. I'm just here. I kept whispering that I love her. Something we were so awkward to do because she would laugh at us when we said it. And when I couldn't find the words to say anymore, I just kept singing to her. It's surreal how Lola is no longer physically around. I will miss telling her about my students. I will miss getting Christmas gift bags with a default to and from, but always seeing Lola write, Love Lola, after from. I will miss hearing our landline ring and guessing who among the village guard Lola or Tita Tisa, the only people who ever call our landline, is calling. I will miss asking her to treat me, treat me to Starbucks or ice cream or some aponiello, and rejoicing like I won the lottery when she said yes, because she hardly ever gives us money. Just her senior citizen card, para may discount. I will miss getting random phone calls and talking for almost 30 minutes. I will miss entering her room, seeing the aircon at 27 degrees, and going out and thinking, mas magrig pa sa labas. <laughs> I will miss seeing her beautiful face. I will miss life with a grandparent around me. But while I mourn her absence, I am so happy because she's in a much better place and is finally reunited with my Lolo. Until we meet again, my queen Lola, and dito lang ako, hindi ako mawawala. And because songs are my expression of love, I want to tell you. A long week's look back as I walk away. These memories will last for eternity. And all of our tears will be lost in the rain when I find my way back to your arms again but until that day you know you are the queen